A trial episode, huh? I think it's a brilliant idea. Oh, really? Yes. I wish I had thought of it. With Mrs. Child covering the cost, we have nothing to lose. Look, we've gotten more letters for this woman than any other guest in the history of I've Been Reading, and that includes some blue-chip authors. I just want to say, for the record, I'm against this. And no offense, but is this really what we think public television should be doing? <laughs> All right, welcome back to GMA3. That was a clip from the new HBO Max series, Julia, inspired by Julia Child's life and popular television show, The French Chef. And we have right here in studio <laughs> with us one of the stars of the show joining us. First daytime talk show appearance to chat about her yeah. first on screen role. Oh, Thanks, Brittany yo. Brad, does this all feel that you got a lot of theater experience, but this yeah. was wild. That's her first on-screen experience. It is, yeah. It was it was crazy. And it, during the pandemic, we didn't know if it was going to continue. We started in March of 2020. Oh, wow. We didn't really finish oh. it until last year. So I didn't know if it was ever going to be happening. So this all feels like a blessing. We well, should say it did happen. I'm sorry, that, that it did get a second season. It yeah. did. So yeah. Thank you so much. That's very exciting. <laughs> very exciting. So let's talk about the food mm -hmm. and how that was for you. I mean, you're working. Oh. You're acting, but around this incredible food, was, yes. did you have a favorite? Oh, well, it was all delicious. I don't know how I fit into all of my clothes, <laughs> those period clothes and corsets and everything. Uh, we tried sweetbreads, and I had never had them before, and I was very excited to just go into the, the kitchen that we had on set and eat everything. We had souffles and omelets. It was, oh it was delicious. It was an amazing experience. <laughs> wow, second season yeah. sounds very exciting now. <laughs> um, you play Julia's producer, Alice, and I know yes. that you were skeptical at first. You did not want your character to be tokenized. Right. Explain the conversations you had to make sure you felt comfortable as a black woman playing in, a, in an all-white cast. Yes, absolutely. Alice is an amalgamation of a lot of different producers, so I wanted to make sure that the producers were really thinking about who this black woman was and that she wouldn't just be a, a general wash. And our showrunner, Chris Kaiser, told me about a couple that he knew, an interracial couple, a black woman and a white man who had met at WGBH. And he said, we don't know a lot about her story. You know more about that man's life, but who was this woman? And if you're getting a chance to tell this narrative again, maybe we should make sure that we're including some of these people as well. So I did research on producers that would have been around, like uh, Madeline Anderson, Carol Monday Lawrence, other black women, and tried to lift them up while doing Alice. Uh, you just talked about how you tried to contribute, tried to say, hey, this is uh, giving ideas to it, but you, yeah. again, first on-screen role, even yeah. though you have plenty of acting and stage and theater experience. Mm -hmm. Was that, how did you handle, I, I think you called it imposter syndrome, mm -hmm. to have a little bit of a doubt yourself or be a little timid going in there because yeah. it's a whole new experience for you? I think honestly the pandemic helped in a weird way yeah. because I had six months off between starting the pilot and coming back. And it was a chance to say, if I'm gonna come back into this environment and do this work, I need to make sure that I'm coming in fully as myself. And it's not really worth it to do it and only you know show half of me. So coming in, I wanted to be a part of the process. I got to help write one of the episodes, some of the scenes with me and uh, my mother, Virginia. And that was really influential to me and just standing into my own power, I think. Very cool. And the first season just wrapped up last week, yes, correct? Yeah. What's been the reaction from fans, from family? Everybody seems happy. My mother is elated. She's like, I've been waiting. You got, you did this audition in 2019, so I need <laughs> this to come out soon. So everyone's just been so excited. It's just fun to do. You know, it's a, it's a piece that's so heartwarming and everyone seems to enjoy it. Oh, we are over the moon for you. Uh, you I mean, to hear much. that story, like people think it's people are overnight successes, but you've been at it for a while. Like you say, yeah. you auditioned in 2019. Yeah. And this is your first role, first daytime of anything else? Yeah. You yeah. Well, I, I'm curious, what is it? What's the difference, the transition to go from being on stage and mm -hmm. theater to then go in front of cameras and the small screen? Do you, do you yeah. adapt in, in, a, in a way as an actress? Is, is more terrifying. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm, maybe I'm just so used to it. It's funny because I'm doing a play right now at Theater for a New Audience in Brooklyn, and Thomas Sadowski is in it with me, and we've talked about that difference between going back and forth. And theater, it's just you're using every part of you, and I'm so used to that and using my hands and my body, and it's just more contained doing TV film. So it's, it actually feels the same it's just the energy is placed differently in the body can you wow. say contained yeah <laughs> they have a tough time containing yeah. Brittany, yes, just in the <laughs> yeah. Put it in the belly. Brittany thank you so much for thank joining you. us we really enjoyed having you here thank you so and much. everyone the full season of Julia is streaming now on HBO Max so you got to check it out well hey there GMA fans Robin Roberts here thanks for checking out our YouTube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here 
to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.